Ooh, Baby, let's get in. We're riding. Obo taking the head off of Frozen. No waiting around today. This isn't even a B play. You might be looking and you might be thinking, oh, well, they're going into B. But look, the bomb is actually... Oh, oh my God, Dexter. He has dismantled the B push. Thank God it's not B. Don't rotate yet. They were keeping them both here. <gasps> Breezy, Breezy doesn't, doesn't shoot. And that's massive. <laughs> bomb now goes Line. down and they realize they go, wait, bomb planted? Acor's still sneaking into B. Now the penny drops like, oh, it's A. And so they've got to go back in three on two, retake this. Sick fake. Really sick fake, especially the detail of Breezy not firing. Shame Daps can't live longer there. Could have sold it even harder. Now they've got to hold on with this crossfire. Breezy not going to get cleared, but oh, it's jumping and gunning. Breezy's dead, and they both are tapped out by the USPs. Mouse Sports will retake the round just about relieving and great shots in CT as well coming out for Dexter. He has looked good individually. And, you know, that's been the, the, the woe, really, for these teams, as the Jasons were talking about, right? So much firepower, so much potential, uh, so much experience, and yet results pretty hard. Obviously, we're in a very difficult group, but I'm surprised to see with the same map Vita from Cologne where Malsports won it out 2 0. I wonder if anything is going to change here. Obviously, the, the roster for EG is, is the first thing you could note. But when we saw EG on this map yesterday, FaZe, I don't think, gave them a lot of respect. And, and maybe they should have. EG really clawed their way back into that game, made it a three mapper. Mouse, as said, facing, uh, you know, no route to the playoffs if they lose this matchup. So I don't think they're going to be getting ahead of themselves, Harry. I think they're here to 2 I think they're here to play today. Yeah, I think these two squads as well, like, really exemplify how hard it is to, to find yourself in, like, reliably the, the upper echelons of Counter-Strike, right? Yeah. Like, you have so much talent on either side of the server here, but, but both squads are kind of lacking that X factor, you know, like, maybe they're lacking the consistency as well. And, and it's not by much, but it's making a huge difference. They're yeah. both sat bottom of the group and have been having a pretty rough time of things. Yeah, said by Moses, one and eight for EG, three and six for Mouse in recent time, so not great. There's no sugaring that one up. This is a half buy. EG is saving some money for later. They're saving for the buy. So Deagles, can they find some opening kills? We got this BMAS ready to swing off the contact of his teammate above. Nobo, nice deep to start, just takes him off the boost. B uh, BMAS trades for one, but that's all. And now Dexter coming in from long to clean up house. So they shower the quad stack in middle is all that they need. Yeah, the, the, the timing on those little push and prods, right, in response to the D kills coming in were perfect. Like you just kept directing the attention to the wrong side of, uh, of mid, essentially. So even though the D kills come in to open up, like so often that's what makes these rounds spiral out of control as well. Like Deagle will open up and everyone just goes to panic mode. Like, oh my yeah. God, you know, like we can't lose to the Deags. Trade that, trade that. And then it all just starts to get a little bit weird. But now composed, it was very calculated, you know, like one at a time, giving them these little left and right hooks from either side of middle. And see so you dodge the threat of that round. P90 on Dexter, by the way. Uh -huh. All right, bud. Okay. Ooh. Wanting to get involved in Banana. We got Util right down. It's a, it's a weird buy. We always talk about how, you know, it's not even a bad gun. It's not like a, a, a I guess it is a meme gun. Death by Kitty. It's not a bad gun, but the problem is it's just very expensive. You don't get kill reward for that price. You can buy Famas, you know. There's lots of reasons against it. Dexter. And yeah, that also doesn't help. Long range fight. The AK will win it out. Breezy lives with 20 and EG can just commit. Yeah. Will this P90 be able to do anything? It does have a lot of ammo. That is something it's got going for it. Dexter is not shy on the ability to shoot right now. Now with the first, now they Whoa. learn about the P90 and Dexter's showing them how they do it down under. Three. With the SMG and Cirk is running away. He doesn't want to challenge the P90. I love that. Wow. It's a good position for it as well, yeah, right? Yeah, like, I like it at the B site. Yeah, like, lots lots oh. of pre-firing, etc. In, in that new box position with that close orange. Oh, oh backstab! Oh, yeah, just there in time. Cirk almost dances his way to the A-bomb site. And maybe a clutch could have come through, but doesn't escape b -mass's clutches. And 3-0 up for Mal's. Looking for a 2-0 today, looking, I mean, just looking for a win, right? As, as said, they can't afford to lose this matchup. They can't. Going down 0-3 is a death sentence 
for so many teams, but especially Mal's in this position. All power on Acor. P90's gone. I'm kind of sad because, yeah. you know, if he kept bringing it out, Maybe he would later. be, he'd be two AKs. challenging Sponge for the biggest Chad in Australia. Maybe we'll see a return to it later, right, where the money starts to be a problem. That's an if, though. EG need to get on the board. The Eagles again. Acor with the CTO. Nails that shot to Dabs. I really want to home in on Acor and what kind of performance he's able to give us. I think it, it's been a, a weird time for some of these AWPers in this group. Acor very much fitting into that category. Yeah, both of them. Zerk on the other side as well, obviously, but I imagine we're going to see mainly CT AWPing out of him. It's not terribly uncommon for that to be the case. Oh, oh okay. well, there oh. is the AWP gone. Anyone want an AWP? Hot off the press, not today. We're going to go back to B with only one man here. Dexter Mate, though, does not Dexter's have the util. This is laboratory, Hugo. Yeah, he just doesn't have the P90 or the util, Harry. How can you expect him to hold on? Calling for that rotate. Frozen's running it. Smoke is fading, and EG are ready to go. Yeah, they also don't have the util, though, so important to bear that in mind. This flash is all they've got. Frozen shut out, but Dexter will not let them into B. They cannot beat oh. this guy. They cannot get past him. And there he is to lock it in. Another hat trick from Dexter. Yeah, the orb's gone. Nobody saves it. That part sucks for Acor. But Dexter can drop one over. By the way, he has 182 ADR. <laughs> wild, wild. I, I loved it when he first joined this team as well, because it really felt like squads were looking to bully Dexter. That's what like we were saying, right? If you yeah. remember, uh, I think it was like Mirage. He started off playing over towards B, and teams would like just keep hitting B site or dust two long doors. He was doing the same thing, and it felt like they were really trying to like bully this guy, and it would work for like five rounds, and then he would turn it up and and completely crush them. He was his own bully hunter. He is showing that like he he's got what it takes. Yeah. To uh, to frag alongside the best teams in the world. That's really Really reassuring, not just as a player who obviously has been stuck out in a region uh, really far away from the tier one scene. You know, we always make that excuse for, for the Asia scene and to a degree NA as well. But uh, great entries. Now, for EG, that might be the round. We've all seen Inferno before. But yeah, on, on top of that, an in game leader too, right? In game leaders and fragging, not always synonymous. And this round, the fragging is coming through, but it's all EG flavored. The four on two, and Mal's looking to save. There's a lurker in the apartment to make matters worse. And you've got knives out like it's free. Does swap to the pistol. Breezy has not seen or heard anything. Oh, but that's a scope. Oh, well, now. It's a bait. Yeah, yeah. Oh, or is it? Rob's. He's holding apps. Should be fine. Right? Yeah. But what if? That was breezy. <laughs> that sound growling. was him. He's growling. He's foaming at the mouth. Good oh. I like how they wait for the flash there, right? They even try and set him up for the kill. But uh, even with Rob's blinds, uh, Acor hits the close shot. Cirque saves his. EG finder first. Yeah, you know, I think it's about time as well that EG were able to stem this B aggression. The fact that it's come in reliably in a lot of these rounds so far for Mouse, they were kind of owning Banana. So I think that's going to force a little bit more respect out of them. Dexter, mathematician, by the way. He buys himself a Famous perfectly. Oh, no, actually, he got dropped the Famous, I think. Never mind, forget I said anything. But there was a little pause here for Maus to figure out what they want to do in this round. Acor has an okay mid spawn, but he's not going to take it. Oh no, he, he still might, he still might. He was a little slow off the mark, but he is going to run in and try to hold for that peak. Obo on the receiving end. Nice start from Acor. 
And it looked like he was immediately going to reposition, go over towards B, right? Very, very common to see the CT orbs do that. Oh, not again for Dexter. It's twice now he's been burnt out, Banana. At least lives. If you call for health, living. B Mass living on a prayer, backs up with a flash in his face. Brace's T-side was very slow versus FaZe yesterday, but once he flipped the script, got that ace in the pistol, he really built back in, became the top performer. Hoping he can start stronger today. EG need it. Flash up long. Frozen's here. Second one will get him off the angle, though. Mid control conceded as Frozen reroutes. It's a little bit nerve-wracking because of this early damage that was done to Dexter in the molly. It's forced them to really play passive at B. So these rotations can't come through based on any info. It's got to be reactive. And so now you're saying, Rops, mate, you've got to stay alive. Oh, or else the round is going to get stripped away. He's good for a double. That's teed Mouse Sports up nicely to give this one a go. Dexter may as well throw this utility in before he dies with it. Good thing he wasn't with the rest of the boys over at Long, or else that name would have been the end of him. They're going to have to wait for this Moto Smoke to fade. They'll drop their own one ahead of it. And now look to move in. This is going to restrict Cirque's line of sight a little, but he's still holding this sight cross. Oh. They aren't ready for Daps, who mows down two. And for Acor, last guy what? alive, he's got to get out of there with the AWP. He's running for the hills, but Daps is chasing him down. Oh, oh my God. Oh, not today, Daps, not today. Sick round from Daps though, right? He's the one who kills Rops after he gets a double. Feels like Rops is about to go nuclear in the pit, right? Kill everyone, stall a long time and just headshot out of nowhere. And then Daps goes on to get them baited in by Cirque's AWP. And Daps doubles up the retake. Yeah, it's the shot and Daps, yeah. All him, baby. Akel may save, doesn't matter though. Only an orb to this next round as Mouse Sports don't have the money. So it should be flat pistols and EG starting to build into the T side after all. Akel gonna give it a go. It's burnt extra out before. Akel is no luckier. They just can't get rid of it. Uh. They threw a smoke, but it didn't bloom properly. Oh, bug. Oh, and he heard the scope. Me who? Oh, give them a chance. Hey, that was a, a series of unfortunate events at Top Banana. So Frozen's throwing Acor up on the boost. And then he's obviously getting tagged by the fire he's yeah. standing in on account of it being fire he's yeah. standing in. And so he just he just leaves. He like runs out from underneath uh, Acor, who then falls into the molly that's like already been blooming for a solid few seconds. So it just shreds him, mate. It just ruins him. He goes from 100 health to 30 health in the blink of an eye while he's scoped in, falling into the fire. That's a little bit, a uh, little bit of a shave. They're more like moth sports right now, mate. They are obsessed with this big light on the floor. Clearly something they've spoken about, right? Trying to get this constant fight down banana, the boost up, the, the orb opener. Good way of, you know, settling back into passive setups if you have that five on four, but my God, EG's mollies are made of something else. What's in that bottle? I've got to know. Pure ether. And as we all know, there's nothing more deranged than a man in the midst of an ether binge. EG have got bottles of the stuff. Mm. Yeah, it's fear and loathing over here at Banana. That much is for certain. But EG, they're not looking to commit to this. They forced a lot of utility out of the Banana guys. They've put the... Uh, the respect down on this position, and Samihu so is just holding for aggression down Banana, while the rest of his team start to fan out and take mid. This is a pretty standard default, right? You take away the top mid control, you keep some semblance of Banana control, and that way, oh. if you do want to go back, you can. This whole round is just denying information, right? That's what EG are attempting to do here. Make Mao's scared, take away key map control. 
Don't let them piece together where this push is coming in. And now that you've got mid control with it, long smoke down. You could wrap CT here and move into a B play, or you can try and split this A play with Breezy in the apartments. Yeah, faked out. Dex is on the boost, though. He doesn't care about the CT smoke that's just been thrown in from T-Spawn. It is that A-Rap that you talk about. 20 seconds, and you have yet to get a kill. Vimas pokes his head up. Double peak with the big pit player, and they've done a lot of damage. Breezy down low, long player. Finally hits a headshot. Oh, bro, that was needed, but there's back of the site guy, and Acorn just standing tall, too. Almost the third, but I think he's bought just enough time. It's going to be so close. I can't call I it. Two on two. It. Mihu covers, and there it is. The plant's in for EG. Right, both these players are low. There is a real chance for Maus here. Sir growing on short. Won't quite find the timing to Frozen. Sirk now swinging out. This is where the orb might be ideal for me. Who's going to beat him to the punch? They bait them in. The little one-two. And it's 4-4 four, four for EG. No money for Maus again. That's a real shame for Acor, man. Even, even staying alive for like a millisecond longer would have made all the difference, but he's getting spammed out, he's getting bodied, right? Even, uh, even the bullets connecting, like slowing Mihu down, felt like it could have won you the round. Yeah. You were splitting, you know, milliseconds worth of, uh, of time there being the difference between that being an EG round or a Maus round. All right, Sirk. But a T side orping starting strong, taking a current. Oh, barely an arm to rip off of B mass after he drops Breezy with a Deagle. Make sure that gun's out of harm's way, throw it out the map potentially. So they shout. Oh, Oboe, he's been pre firing that all game finally. Someone's here, and that's a pre fire. That's a tap. That's a more. Four on two. B is free. And Oboe's brought pizza. Well, Dexter's here, but uh, as to how much of a say he's going to be able to have, I'm not convinced. Let's see. One man, a deagle, and a dream. And me who will snipe those dreams away. EG up in the lead. Rops is left saving this deagle armor. And the, the convincing look from EG over on Inferno looks set to continue. Yeah, I do worry about EG's map pool, certainly, right, with uh, with Daps in this team and not having a huge amount of time to prepare and practice. But uh, this is an old classic. You know, this is one that EG can rely on. Daps doesn't need to you know, know the setups that EG like to run all too well to get value into this game. Very easy to... Not, I don't want to say easy to T-side call on, but very... Um, there's a lot of monotony. You know, he's done it a thousand times. Only so many options, a lot of waiting, and just trying to make the right read, group for the right bomb site. Dabs does it well. The Elder Stars hitting the shots there. Mihu with entries. Oboe finding the B pick. Cirque down middle. If these things keep up into gun rounds, that's good for EG. But that was an eco for Maus, and we have seen them you know, concede middle a lot and, uh, and even be locked out of banana in most of these gun rounds. Let's see if anything changes here. Still three on A, so not going for the banana take. EG will, however, sir, contact with the AWP. I love this. Will they give it up even? Showing an arm or a leg is enough for Cirque. Jumping over the boost. Oh, they saw him. He hit a shot. I don't know how. Not a collat. Nade was in tandem with the bullet. But Maus is still standing tall. Yeah, still keen to fight for this banana control. And I was going to say, hopefully there is a time where they eventually give some of this away, right? You're really lacking the util over here towards B. A smoke on Frozen is all you've got, so... You tuck in at the bomb site. You try to hold on to that to stop a, a play in towards B. And so he's literally just waiting with the smoke out for contact to get made. Now, with EG faking the A play a little bit, this smoke can still find a lot of impact in this round, right? 
depending on the timing of this push, EG have been pretty willing to leave them to the final, you know, 20 seconds. If you do that with this smoke still in play, you could be in for a bad time. If you wait for this, if you wait for this to fade, you're going to have about 10 seconds on this site push. Yeah, it's a good read for Maus, but this Molotov is going to really complicate stuff. Time, as you say, is the biggest problem. And EG are about to learn why. 20, as the volley goes down, they've got to go through. They hold off for a few, and Acor's taking the luck out of the round. Now you have to commit. You have nothing else. 15, their Molly's going in deep. Dexter, Mothman, stands it into 10, still gets the kill, and they're living long enough. BMAS with a double spray. There's no way Daps can get this kill in time. He's got to hunt it. He couldn't make up his mind. Bomb out as he chases the kill. He could have tapped. He could have even stuck and called the bluff. He gets stuck between two. Running to new box with his knife out. It's not pretty, but yeah, like you said, the, the stalling of util left mouths, the grenades, they do it all really. Vmas through the smoke with a double and just living long enough behind new box for Frozen. Ops are out for either side. Acor taking his on an apartment's peak, and this isn't something EG have had to worry about just yet. It's a double up setup. Whoa, oh, that spam, it's always scary. What? That's only the tag to Breezy. Acor. And Acor no. almost wanted to go and hunt for it. Now that would have been a little, a little oh. wild. And oh no. No way. Rops goes a looking, and Breezy. He demands your respect. He might be low, but he's not out of the game yet. Unreal shot from Breezy. Rob's thought he was closer, right? Breezy got so far back. Tempted in by the tag of Acor, who's now up on the balcony. He self-boosted it. He hit the jump. That's fair enough, mate. Like, we know he's got good movement, and it's one thing to be able to run around corners and hit hops, but, you know, I presume he made that first time. It's only been seconds since he was up, so, you know, respect. It's, uh... It's not the hard, it's not the easiest jump in the world, rather. So, Aiko's got the moves. We know that, but it doesn't matter if EG Group B for this execute. It's going to come down to the two-man hold. Now he avoids the Molotov on top of the balcony, killing the lug again. That's back-to-back -back rounds. Aiko's done that. Mao's now two v four on the B bomb site. How are they fair? So Dexter just dropped a Molly in. That means that Mihu got separated from the rest of the team. That was the bomb cut down right at the front. 10 seconds on this push again. Oh. They flush out Dexter. They know Frozen plays oh. here. And Obo gives all the entries. They've got a plant. Oh my God, got it's it. close. But yeah, they do have it. Obo. Didn't matter. Jeez Louise. They he wanted to kill. Absolutely kills. bodies them. <laughs> Unreal. That just looked like a DM for Obo. Feels like it, man. Oh my god, he can step in my DMs any time with shots like that. That was sick for Obo. Entry after entry into B. Seconds to spare as well. <laughs> that first one, nuclear, all headshots. Covers as a CT smoke phase, right? A kill, one kill there. Bagel grabs the bomb planter. His teammate wins around by living. And yeah, the bomb, they had it. It doesn't matter, but it was one to kills anyway. More and more when we watch e, uh, EG, I really, I really get excited about the prospect of Obo as a star. Yeah. Like, he, he's really showing that he's got the uh, the nerve for it. Oh, oh. <laughs> Why would I say it? Talk of young Why guns. would I even tempt fate? Frozen. Big double up. The last man is Cirque, and he's got to go grab this bomb. His teammates are in A. Will Dexter be aware of this possibility? Well, because of that Moto Smoke landing, yes. And he's holding. Oh. Breezy gives that kill over, trying to get aggro with it, trying to take away real estate that maybe didn't need to get taken just yet. Yeah, it would have been you know, easy. Sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, you can understand the push, right? Like, just trying to be in an unexpected position, but it is a risk that 
didn't need to be taken. Yeah, would have been would have been easy for Dexter to even go through that smoke after the kill and try and take one v ones. And now instead, it's left Mouseport's fully armed on this retake. They've not got the kit. That's the biggest problem. So kills have to come through. We've got lineups coming in as well. It smoke causes problems for Sug. We like that one. Froz is going to get the entry. Sug has nowhere to go. He's only got one side of the smoke to look through. They're doubling down. Sug with a headshot on top of the box. Frozen wins the round, and there is time for the defuse. What a retake for Mouse. They have a smoke that lands in pit to completely, uh, you know, shut off Sug. There's nothing he can do there. They know what side he's going to peek from at all times. It's only one option. So that's really cool for Mouse Sports. 6-6. Six, six. And that's an eco that was not supposed to be won. All begun by Frozen down Banana. And considering he's had a really quiet start to this, that must feel lovely, right? Yeah. Like, you look at that and you go, yeah, I just want us that round. Like, <laughs> you know, no, no other way to really look at it. Sure. Don't get me wrong, Dexter's kill is, is big within the Wouldn't context of what it means, yeah. right? But, like... Wouldn't have happened Oof. unless Frozen forced them into A quick. That was like a panic rotate for EG. They just wanted to get away from the fresh-faced eagle. Now nades are working. That will do. Molly's in double HE onto Obo. He's not going to get his headshots now. Surely, they say, as Dexter delivers it back. Oh, the spam. Mihu somehow still alive, but only for a moment. Dexter takes a double. And Miles get out. Why even bother keep fighting? Acor can even be left here alone with the orb for the info. And Miles now pad up on A, where Ichi again panics. Mach 10 on Daps. Up the oh. short side and into the graveyard for Rops. And Bmas bodied by the Mach 10. Hi, Helmic, folks. Daps has given them room here. That was the two helmetless players as well. Everyone else got the memo. Has Daps just rescued this round for EG? Like, there's still a man down. It's still... Oh, oh well, not anymore, because Daps is having a row, baby. Look at him go. Three kills, Daps. The man of the hour. Now he's just got to stick the landing. Moving up into the site as Acor. Daps can't spot him over this smoke. It's getting a little bit awkward. He loses, oh. sir. Daps now needs the ace to win this round for EG. They're going to go on the bomb. It's planted wide for the apartments. And Daps, four out of five. Nope. Gets Acor down to nine HP. But it's a mouse round somehow, some way. Holy! Nice try, man. You could not have asked Yo, Daps for more. Is cracked, man. Yeah. Daps is cracked. Yeah, Daps is cracked. Daps is cracked, and, and you know one of the one of the points was yeah, this guy is you know is maybe held back from the fragging, or he's not a fragging in game leader. And you know Stan always was inconsistent in that regard. Like he's had high highs, he's had low lows, and so you know, EG, you, you, do, you don't look at Daps to be the guy carrying you through when you're getting a good game out of the likes of Sug. When you you know, got Oppo finding these entries, so sick round from Daps. What? None of that matters. It's 7-6. What's the biggest sheesh you can give to Daps? That's not you, Hugo. I'm asking everyone yeah. else. Don't worry. I'm say. not going to make you do it. The moment's gone now, Harry. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't a one round. Sheesh Louise. It's going to be a B hit again for EG. Casey there, a Mac 10 again opens, Frozen sprays, and he gets three on the headshot as well. Four on two, and EG, what can you do in this position? Wow. There's a re-smoke to add insult to injury. Oh, nice. Ovo leaps across to retrieve the AK. And now they try to turn their attention into middle, but into Acor's AWP they go. He's trying to get fancy with it, hanging out the window. Looking steely as he does it. He might... Uh, it, You'd be molding if you died. Oh, 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 never mind. Never mind. Timing, of course. Acor holds that for literally, you know, 30 seconds. Looks away. Shot in the side of the head instantly. Because any deed you do must be immediately <laughs> punished by the Karmaic gods. And so Obo may be able to get away with this AK. Maybe. Counter-terrorists win. 
more more with him. But money is no object for Mal's. He can buy it before going into the last round of the half. EG still, it's a good tea side, but I'm not sitting here, you know, super happy or, or feeling like they're going to run away with this one. Still feel like Pistol is a necessity. Mal Sports definitely look like the more capable team right now. EG. Bit of a broken one, Acor. Oh, he's, they just got stuck. I don't know what happened. Me who doubles down with a deagle. Uh, this round is so weird. It's going to get weirder. Cirque trades onto BMAS and they jump out of apps. Right, so I guess that's an A retake then. That's what the B players are thinking, right? It's one of these rounds where you go, what happened? All right. <laughs> Here we are, Dexter is pinned, trapped in a corner. Circus wrapped, frozen on this lower mid rotation. Great read, and there's Breezy to close. Same respect though on this T side, Mouseboard's Molly, and well, probably not. Quick tap for Ops. Yeah, great way to open though, and now Breezy. Well, he delivered us an ace from this position last night. I don't think he's gonna be able to do it again. He's gonna fall back, hold off this A bomb site. He does have some support from that. Breezy, do it, oh, do it, oh, come yeah. on, oh, double up. Frozen will get two of his own. And now Mihu and Oboe, they need to retake this, but look at Dexter, Dexter getting grimy with it. Just Oboe now, and he's got a whole world of problems on his shoulders. Mauser are facing him. They're trying to put this round to rest, and they will. They lock in that pistol. Great opener from Rops. Good acceleration. They deal with Breezy. You know, we've seen him tear through teams yeah. in these pistol Many rounds. A time. In that in that sight as well. Probably the best, one of the best pistol, pistol clutches ever was done by Breezy in that bomb site. Just after we changed sensitivity, if yeah. I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Just goes to show you, mate. Sensitivity doesn't matter. Sense means nothing. Settings mean nothing. Just as long as you're comfortable. That's all that matters, Harry. Or is it resolution? Regardless. Yeah, resolution is a setting. Yeah. None of it matters. No, it was oh, sensitivity you changed. Breezy. You called Dex to the Mothman. Breezy just took 94 from it. 96, good maths. Ha <laughs> ha. And, uh, and yeah, ran through a full fledged Molotov. Somehow lived with the kit as well. Let's see if that comes into play. EG want to retake. They've got the nades for it. Right now, just re smoking choke points, slowing Mal's down. Daps even making that early move as well. Yeah, this is a bit of a classic. This is the old smoke delay play on the four spy, right? And Maus, they, they either need to really make an effort to bait this utility out of EG, which they're doing a pretty good job of, or they just explode right through it. Cirque won't ever have time to use his smoke. Instead, he's dead at long, trapped in the cubby. Dexter wrapping CT into the Deagle of Breezy. If they go B, they have literally for every single possibility. They, they've they killed both the A players. Now they're going into the three-man stack B bomb stack with 20 seconds left. Oh my God, I'm getting a little worried. And that's the bomb dropped. Oh. Luckily enough, Frozen comes in with a kill. There's 15 seconds, the bomb getting into the site. Me, who's gonna try and deny it? And no one's oh, watching, no. no one's covering. Oh, Frozen will bail them out. God, It's not a squeaky clean round, but they do manage to get it. Win Talk about win. Po taking the path of most resistance <laughs> there, jeez. You see that sometimes, right? You get kills and you just expect the rotate to already have come through or to be in, in transition and yeah, just uh, run right into the stack again. Doesn't matter though, Mal's win it. I mean, just about. A lot could have gone wrong, a there lot is, did go wrong. There is one detail I really don't get there. Yeah. They had a player outside of B who, who heard three smokes go down at top banana. And his team had already gone up A at that point and yeah. killed the two A players. Like, they they should have been a little more cognizant. That at the very, very least, yeah. two of those players were on B. Maybe the call is, all right, they're B boys. Let's just get them. Let's frag them all. Let's <laughs> chase them down. Don't let them save. Come on, Dexter, get them. Get them. <laughs> Maybe, you never know. Frozen, though. He's going to frag them all right. Two kills. D get for Dexter and Aiko with a skit. Oh, they're all the B boys. Let's go get them. Let's frag them. 
Mom, I'm doing it. <laughs> nice. Any scouters? Any scout fans? Uh. Uh. Now it's time to give it up. Yeah, I, not that you have a like, tremendous amount of room, but that's why Rops is here. Rops. One hell of a guy to help you out in situations like that. Yeah, this is good now for Miles. 11-7, starting to build, and now the buy for EG. If Miles win this, you know, it's not GG by any means, but ooh, it's going to be a, a near impossible task to come back in for EG. So this is a very important first rifle round. And remember, Miles are essentially bonus. They have a scout, they have some Galils, they kept guns in. So the chance is there for EG. Especially with Cirque, if you can find these mid picks. We saw some filthy things out of him yesterday, even on this map. Holding off a long for now, though. First gun round, you don't want to throw yourself into the palm of Mao's and get crushed. Oh, they're taking a bit of a gamble here. They're leaving Oboe alone at B with this full belt of utility, right? So just hoping that, like, if a B play comes in, he can stall it out with the molly, with the nade, with the uh, with the smoke. You know, he can keep them from this push. And a quad A stack on the back of it. Now, Oboe getting to throw this utility in very much hinges on the play being telegraphed in the first place, right? He's going to drop that smoke, but... Mouse look like they're coming through it. They want to try and rush him down, and they've already gotten past this Coffins player. Obo gets one kill, and truthfully, like, that's fine here. You know, if you just set up to play, you were always going to be retaken. If it was the B play, you admitted that by this setup, by having just one man here. And retaking in a five on four is very, very doable. So they pull the brakes. They're going to wait for everyone to get here on the side of EG. This banana fight from Daps can't arrive too early. You know, he doesn't want to fall and then completely relinquish this man advantage. He's hoping instead to come in on like a kind of backstab almost when the attention is drawn oh. away. Dexter might be blind, still gets the kill. Now Daps emerges on this banana wrap round and Dexter dead as well. They deal with Daps and Bmas is left. Oh, oh, in the 1v2, but there's not enough time for Cirque who was all the way back in CT. He was the guy lining up flashes to get his teammates in and it leaves him too far removed Beamas with a big 1v3 clutch to put another round on the board for mouse sports and that was a bonus round as well right galil still in play scout was still up yeah. on acor oh, it's, yeah, it's so sad as well you played it as well as they could have it really does come down to you know not only mouse sports playing well but luck right like daps you said he was delayed he was delayed he was like the you know up banana late he got his kill he got traded sure you're not going to have that forever if you're on your own the flashes were good dexter was full blind random headshot onto the first kill yeah everything that went wrong could go wrong did go wrong and now it's getting worse for the second Cirque's orb picked up by acor and passed on to breezy we know he can orb, but he might not need to if Mao's just committing to this B execute. Does seem like a great way just to bully EG in this position. Nothing to play with. Smoke down. Okay, maybe that will slow you here if you're Mao's, but you don't mind. Well, Breezy's now here with the uh, with the orb. This whole round is essentially like dodge the AWP if you're Mao's, right? You know it's the big ticket item. You've heard the Eagles on everyone else. It still looks like a B commitment and a little bit of utility has been thrown in at A mixed with this silence over at the B site. And look at this, mate. Mao's are living in the heads of EG. This has gone so well. All it took was one smoke over at long to trigger the full rotation. Going quiet on banana, smoking off the arch over here on A. And EG get in their heads. They take a gamble. B side's free. Move in, boys. Yeah. It's all yours. Lock it down. Shut the doors. Squatters' rights, baby. It's ours now. 13 to 7, and they just double saved the orb. Yeah, it's just a gamble call for EG, right? But damn. Hard time to go all in and lose all your money. 
the roulette wheel. Doesn't give you a chance. Dexter having a sip, having a cold one while his team locking the round. No problem. Yeah, shout out cold ones one time. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, EG are running out of rounds, running out of time here, Harry. It's their map pick. Like I said, the nuke numbers are not good for EG, no wins. And so you wonder where they're going to be left if Mouse Sports lock in their opponent's map pick. On the bright side, Cirk might get his AWP again. I mean, he could buy another for all they care. We'll see if Breezy wants to keep his and we double up. But CT Inferno, you might not. Really, at this point, it doesn't, it doesn't matter what you buy. <laughs> Whatever the hell you want. Whatever's going to get you on that board. It's been a silent CT side for EG. They've got everything they need. Nades, a plenty kit. They've got it all but rounds. And, you know, if you remember, it was uh, pre-player break back at the Cologne play in these squads faced, right? These same two opening maps of Nuke and Inferno. Yeah. Scoreline's already looking very, very similar, right? It ended a 2-0 to Mouse Sports, and they denied EG a run at Cologne, which Mouse then went on to, uh, to attempt on the back of that victory in that series. The Inferno game there was 16-8 in favor of Mouse. Will history repeat itself here today? An opener in this round for EG must feel very relieving to finally be a man up. Now they've just got to follow through on the back of it. They're going to go. They're just going to fully send it into this A site. Man down at least makes things good for EG. They're not giving away picks to this orb. Acor's trying to find one. Meanwhile, Uber takes Banana. That frees up Mihu to pad the A site with a fourth tag onto Dabs. I literally do not know how. Yeah. It was through the library wall through a smoke. <laughs> he is going to repeat this from Arch. Oh, Dexter with the flick, with the speed. And me who never rotated through CT. I guess because Daps had communicated across, they are here, they've smoked it off. And so the rotation would have felt useless. So now both these B players are flanking mid. They're already here. That's before you Perfect. take into account this double sight setup. Oh, now just one man. So oh, it's no. only the leg. No, no, no. Five they seconds of challenge the coming in. Oh, no, it doesn't challenge. You could have stopped the bomb. You could have won the round right there. A core dead to me who and now just drops. They will manage to get past him. So they, they still find it, Hugo. Yeah. They still find it in the retake. Roller coaster, man. Like maybe you're gambling with the idea that oh they can't plant, they might not have time. Maybe you're panicking there. Or me, who's making the cool play together? Let's peek it at the same time. I mean it works, right? So the criticism is invalid, but at the same time. He could have stopped that bomb easily. Could have taken a kill. Bowser were both running to pick it up. No one had guns out. Just a very weird round through and through. Poor Zerg player. If an AWP scoped up there and you give that kill away, oof. Sure. You know, and hey, he made the right play. It worked. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I just think a lot of players would have swung that. And I think a lot of players would have won the round right then and there. Hey, you win it anyway. What's the worry? Move on. They're certainly not still talking about it, about it, so why are we? Orb is still in for Cirque. It's an expensive round for EG, and you can see that in their wallet. No utility, really. Block smoke gives a gap to Daps. Very smart stuff. Dodges the flash, but not the bullets. They hound him down, and now, well, the gap's going to be used by BMAS to take control, to be split if they can get into spawn. But instead, they just go back to Banana, leave BMAS alone to lurk. This AWP fight, Matt, is so much. Double if face. certain nails it, oh, it's nothing. BMAS dead over on A. 
And now the penny's gonna drop for EG, right? Suddenly, Cirque's made contact of Banana. You've, you've cleared this long position, the area that was, you know, a big question mark. And Oboe is even taking info away. If Maus do wanna follow through with the B commitment, they, they need to be keeping it fast here because EG have figured out that it's not this A play now. They deal with Mihu back in the site. There is this fast flank from Oboe, and Acor's still scoped up on CT, so he's shot in the back of the head. Tag wait, and they know he was here. They know one at Banana as well. I don't know if Breezy's made noise on the run-up. Oh! But Dexter's gonna look away. Luckily enough, Frozen, big couple of kills, oh! and he'll take them all out of the round. 14 for Maus. And yeah, you know, it gets sloppy in places, but that's the star power here. That's the thing. Like, so many players who can step up. Takes Frozen to really steal that one back from the clutches of EG, but he's good for the job. Yeah, he's won so many rounds just on his own, like, in these positions. Some of the, the Deegs on CT side right there, the double, and then the 180 instant closer headshot. Frozen performing today, 14 to 8. And EG running out of steam now. It's actually even more impressive that Mauser in this position with Rocks being so quiet. Yeah, like, you have to talk about him. I haven't really get to mention it. You know, I don't think it's worth ragging on him. Nine, nine to eleven isn't isn't an atrocious scoreline, but it's certainly not like a Rop scoreline. That's yeah. why it's so great that we have Frozen fill in that void. Yeah, Red Sea EG winning. Uh, sorry, Mal's winning with Rop's quiet. Absolutely, Rop's rarely quiet in, anyway in the first place. So but that's a that's a good point. I didn't even catch on to that. Acor is winning his fights for the AWP as well. And as you talk about it, Mihu taken down towards the top of B. You've forgotten the bomb. Still two players are hanging around, but Mal's want to capitalize on this kill. They can go through this smoke. There's a nice big gap on the right side, or a bit of a bit of a gap. A bit of a chance to sneak through. Instead, Mal's hold off. They've still got these two A players, as said. Let EG shuffle their rotates, make a read, and maybe even make a mistake. Daps has pushed Daps. But it's not like Rops has activated yet. He might come to him. Good timing for Rops as he looks back at the right angle. Five on three now. Doesn't matter where you go as long as you do it together. Oh, that Ouch. is brutal. Yeah, mate, no, the, the way Maus play these T sides, it, it's very, very gross, right? Like, they'll get an opener. They're almost kind of like a VP in a sense, where, like, they, they get an opening kill, and then they just don't give you anything for the longest time. You know, they let you get in your own head. I think these slowdowns wouldn't work so well versus, you know, more tenured opposition guys that, that, that really have it all screwed on. But considering, you know, the CG squad's in a bit of a state of flux, especially with, with Daps, you know, obviously being the guy at the helm, right now coming in to replace Stan last minute. I think it's the perfect thing to do because you're you're making you're making EG outbrain themselves essentially. It's very, very pretty. And when it works, it looks lovely. It leaves you with rounds like this, where EG were never even in with a chance. They were constantly out positioned, constantly out cooled. And they're left saving, and they might not even get away with them. If this is a flawless round, it is. They hunt down everyone. It's a team ace. Flawless round to find 15. Yeah. And you take all the guns away as well. That is massive. That's really sealed the deal of this GG, in my opinion. And uh, and this would be an exact repeat of the scoreline from the uh, the IM Cologne players. Yeah, it's poetic right now for Maus. And EG with only one round of this entire CT side. Think about that for a second. It has been all mouse sports and had no problem getting us there either. Everyone gets a highlight. You get a highlight. Mouse get a highlight. EG don't know. Oh dear, they get lit up instead. Down by Arnaby, who dead first once more. And it feels like a formality. There's not even weaponry in the way. A few more grenades for EG. Mal's hold top B, they sit close mid. Breeze is going to try and get involved, throw himself into the fire, and I'm not against it, but Rops is. Quick tap. <laughs> and and he's going to go, well, I couldn't possibly begin to tell you where they're going now that we've oh. lost Breezy. So let's just three stack B and hope. And, well, of course, you know, you've... Uh, Got a five-sided die. You've been asked to roll a six. There's nothing. There's nothing you can do. Oh, you could five-sided die, and only three kills away from that. 
The house is still so methodical, right? Making sure they don't know that this site is completely empty. They've just got a pick for all intents and purposes. It should be stacked to the nines, but the gamble's gone the wrong way. And I think at this point, 30 seconds, it's gone quiet. EG are realizing it themselves. They know GG is just around the corner. And so are Mal's as they set the bomb. I think they're even impressed with how well this is working. <laughs> like, they're like, oh, yeah. there's literally no one here. Okay, Thanks, guys. well, we'll just win then, I guess. Nuke is next, Harry. 0% win rate in the three maps played for EG and killing console, flash your teammates. If you could jump off the map, you would. It's as good as done. Yeah, and they, and they know that. Like, that's the heartbreaking thing. Like, you've just had a whole minute to sit there and come to terms with, like, yeah, we're, we're screwed. And this is the end. Rops lines them up. And...